is the Brute Spiker from Boomco, as you know, if you've seen my review. Um, this is my charging cord. Um, this is an awesome blaster, and here's my cosmetic mod overview. By the way, it's raining, if you hear that in this segment and the last segment. The second segment is done downstairs. This is the Brute Spiker, as you've seen my review on. My workspace is a little cluttered. But this is what I have to work on. I have some hot glue. I did a paracord wrapping here that I'm going to glue down, um, like rewrap really tightly. Glue down. I could not find any leather strips, but I'll probably uh, take it off at my grandfather's house this weekend and wrap it in real leather that he has there. So. This is about what I have here, so I'm going to go ahead and get my hot glue gun, glue it together, and show you guys what's it, what it's like. By the way, I did a Krylon, Krylon primer, a gray primer, over this whole thing here. I took apart, I only did like this, uh, the red shell piece, and I did a black base coat, and then I did a, with uh, Rust-Oleum, and then I did Rust-Oleum clear gloss, clear coat. Um, I also did it on these blades, um, on the site, on this bottom piece here, which you can't really see because of the shadowing, and then the other blade there, just give it a bit more of a metallic shine. I did not do it on the slide or, like, the, uh, magwell. Well, it's the magwell in the game, not on here. Um, I also did a, um, glow-in-the-dark, glow-in-the-dark paints there, which you can't really tell because it was originally yellow anyways. But, uh, you know, I think it looks pretty cool. Right now, I did some silver detailing with a Sharpie, not actual silver paint, but with a Sharpie, which turned out awesome. So, um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get my hot glue gun, heat it up, and then start doing that. So, I'm going to go ahead and move my chair over. Let me move my sword. But here's where I'm going to be doing it. Um, my awesome table. Um... I gotta do some bit more wrapping here, and then I'm going to uh, let my hot gun glue gun heat up here. A poipa one, which is actually not that bad. Um, but it's plugged in right now, heating up. I'll get back to you. So I just hot glued this together a little bit, um, letting it dry. I might do a little bit of a black touch up paint there, but uh. The grip is unbut. Well, it just got some stuck to me. Um, I guess I just gotta let it dry for a bit longer. Um, but the grip is now. I guess I held it before. It was together and it was unbelievably comfy. Comfy. So we'll see how it is when it's done. There, it's really just glued to itself at the moment. So um, I could just take it off and replace it with the leather handle like I am going to do. So, um, let me go ahead and grab some black paint and we can do some touch up work. So, I've painted it. I mean, it looks a bit like epoxy now that I've like painted it and everything. But, uh, I just messed it up a bit. So, anyway, I'll have to do that again. But, uh, next, uh, next clip is going to be like the overview. Next segment, this is the. As you know, the Brute Spiker, um, all painted, all purdy and stuff. If you hear that, that's the rain at my window. Right there. Yeah, it's, we have a pretty bad thunderstorm here. And, well, since it is the Brute shot, we may as well shoot the Master Chief. And final shot. Pull that out. There's the Zeus clip. And there's it. I want to thank you all for watching. And make sure to hit that subscribe button if you enjoy if you enjoy the content that I make. Make sure to hit the like if you enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a comment on what you think about this paint job. Also, make sure to tell me down in the comments 
What do you guys think about Halo Wars 2? What do you think about, um, Halo Boom Co. Blasters? And if you have any, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Boy!